Hey there everybody, Racecrafter here, and welcome back to the world of Solitude. Um, behind me, you see the newest uh, uh, build in the sawmill area. Actually, it's not that new. I did this on a stream. Oh, jeez, it's been a while. It's, <laughs> it's probably been months. <laughs> but uh, this is the newest one here. Uh, we got a little entrance area over there behind me, over my right shoulder. That would be this one. And uh, over here, we've got the makings of a sawmill. So this is kind of the sawmill district. Um, over here, let me pull this up so I can point and show you. Um, that little stone area over there, that is going to be like an unloading station where like the dudes will be out in the forest collecting the logs. There'll be a cart. They'll bring them in the cart. Um, there'll be like the unloader thing. We'll dump them into the water. Uh, they'll kind of float around. Uh, yeah, more floating logs. And then the crane will grab them and just over to here. And then they'll go through the, uh, the choppy choppy over here. We got like a little trough here that the logs will kind of go down and they'll either get stripped or chopped this way or sliced or you know whatever whatever the case and in the back over there there's a, another waterway that kind of goes around that way the base is over that way where the the beacon beam is and they'll get transported down that waterway into like a I guess a like a storage warehouse kind of thing I haven't really really thought too much about that part just yet but there'll be like workers in there with like workstations will they'll be crafting all kinds of stuff for the uh the shops or the the townspeople or you know just just keeping the community growing with with the stuff furniture and and building materials etc etc so we got this thing going on here this is going to be a kind of an elaborate build for just a sawmill but i thought it was really really cool and it came out really good in the creative world so uh i'm rolling with it i'm rolling with it uh, i'm not too happy about this being a swamp area over here but you know that's my bad this is where i chose to have the base and everything so it is what it is so I am going to get a little more progress done on this. Uh, there's going to be water on this side, water in the trough, water on that side. This side, uh, it's going to be mirrored kind of like on that side, and it's going to have a roof on it. It's going to be super cool, super cool. And then uh, let's go take a look at the entrance over there. Uh, I don't think I got that on stream when I did it, and I don't think, uh, obviously I haven't done the, anything shown of the crane on video, so I'll get into the cam account later and kind of show you a, a better view. But we've got like this weird kind of entrance thing here and then it goes up over onto the crane and over this way i'll clear out all these trees and eventually continue this over into this area here i don't have any plans for that yet so that's why it just kind of stops right there and i haven't cleared anything out but i got this area kind of planned out and and for terraformed and this little outcrop with the stone over there the the main wall kind of goes around that way and uh there'll be a break in the wall with a cool like a uh, 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 thing f doorway something to that effect and then the unloading thing over there and and logs kind of floating in here so uh we'll get started on the um sawmill and i will bring you back when i got a little more progress done See you in a few. Okay, so I got most of the framework up here now. We can take a look down the side here. I really like the topper up there. It's the roof is going to be really cool looking too. So I'm excited to show you guys that in a bit. But we got the framework going on here. Got some mossy. Got some regular. Got some stone brick. Some cobble, and uh, smooth stone slabs up there. I uh, got the trough uh, pretty much done. I they. This water change because of the biome change is kind of bothering me, but oh well, it is what it is. And then over here we got the first cutter, which is uh, 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 stripping the wood as it comes through. And uh, of course the stone cutters make perfect saw blades, obviously, because they are saw blades. But, uh, you know, obviously it was the, the choice right there. And uh, I reconfigured the the the... The start point here, and this is probably going to be all water, and it's going to kind of join up over to there. I, I don't really know how the logs are going to go from that lower water to this upper water. I kind of didn't think about that until afterwards. 
but, uh, yeah, it, maybe maybe the crane can extend a little further. I, I I don't I don't know I don't know. Maybe I'll have a little pulley system over here or something that kind of pulls the logs up into this thing. I I don't know. I didn't think about that, and I've got this far on it, and I I, I really don't want to change it unless I get really ambitious with a whole crap ton of buckets and just fill in this whole area and raise this water up one i yeah. i derped i derped unless i just leave it and it defies things you know like minecraft you can place block in the air and it just suspends there maybe i do that i don't know but i i'm trying i'm trying not to think about that right now anyway we got the the A-frame here for the roof started, and I just got a couple of pillars here at the beginning. I was going to put a, a, an entryway thing like that one over there, but I decided not to because it kind of blocks the whole uh, roof and A-frame and everything. So I just kind of took all that down and just made these little, little pillars with the lanterns. I think they look cool. And uh, got lanterns down here. And so, yeah, there's a progress report numero uno. So I'm going to get on the roof and get a few more of the uh, the, the cutter blades and different things in there. And uh, I'll bring you guys back and uh, show that to you. So back in a few again. And here we have the finished product. Yeah, I really like the way this came out. I used a lot of texturing on the roof. Um, we got some cobble, we got the stone bricks, we got the dark oak, we got a uh, little design on the top there, we got the uh, the spiky bits on top, of course, we got the grindstone toppers there on the on the uh, the log posts, log pillars, and uh, I put the little fence posts in there to kind of give it some airiness, and it, it I just I I really like this thing, man. It's cool. It's so cool. And I got all the, uh, the little details done on the inside. Put some buttons down here. We got, whoa, going swimming. We got the saw blades here for the cutting. We got this kind of wheel that uh, kind of would spin around and kind of drag the logs through once they've done been done cutting. Uh, we've got some uh, stray logs that have kind of maybe get chucked up by the saw blades and spit into the water over here. We got some planks that have been cut up. We got the stripped wood over there. And it got some cool lantern designs up there. All finished off in here. It's looking really good, man. I, I, I don't know. There's something about this one that I really, really like. Let's get up on this hill over here before it gets too dark. Actually, maybe it'll be okay. We'll get to see it at night, see how it's lit up. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, man. Pretty cool indeed. What I really like too, now that the moon's coming up, I want to get this. I love this shot here with Adela's mountain in the background and the moon coming up there. That looks so cool. Yeah, awesome. Love that. Love that. Yeah, and I think this is lit up pretty good. Um, I, hey, whether mobs come in here or not, who cares? I got a sword, man. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I think Sweeney's on. He must have, uh, he must have slept. Good thing I got that shot for you real quick. Oh, what's that? Hey. Oh, you missed. Take that. Oh, no. Little runt. Ha! Ha! Ankle biter with chainmail armor. <laughs> Let's get rid of this so we can have a hand free. Get a nice background shot of this. Yeah, this area is going to be really cool looking. Still got a lot of work to do. Oh, um, I kind of got a little bit started on the uh, entranceway over here. I'm not going to do a, too much of a spoiler because that's going to be for the next episode. But you can kind of see just a little bit of something over there. Just a little hint. 
and that's going to be coming next i got to build the wall up over there and going off that way in that direction and uh we'll get to that in the next episode that's that that's got a heck of a lot of detail too it looks really cool uh i'm excited to show you guys that too but yeah we got this all done finally it's been sitting here kind of half done for a while i think actually i reconfigured a lot of stuff i know i mentioned i reconfigured the front here but actually, I took everything down and kind of moved everything back a bit. Um, just because I didn't want it to get too close to the edge over here uh, because of of the, the derp and the, the height of the water here. So it might look a little different if you were paying that close of attention. If not, then I said nothing. You heard nothing. It's exactly the same. <laughs> that shot the crane the sawmill the mountain it's awesome love it so thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed i hope you like the build and i will see you all in the next episode i am out of here see ya